Hello everyone and welcome to Academia School Simulator. We're going to do a new series on this. Uh, this first episode, if you remember seeing me do my first impressions, I'm a big planner. So this first episode is pretty much going to be just me planning shit. Um, so if you want to actually see the gameplay and stuff like that, go ahead and just skip to episode 2. I'll put it in the cards and it'll also be at the end screen. But I'll put it in the cards so you just get it right away. So let's go ahead and start our game. There we go. Wow, that's a terrible name. <laughs> um, as we did in the video, we will become anything lizard name. So we'll be... L well, you know what? I'm not going to do a lizard name one. I'm going to do something based on my City Skyline game. And then you can watch it later. And it will be mostly humorous to me. We will be Rock Hill High School. If you saw my first brush video, you know why I find this slightly humorous. Um, Rock Hill in my city skylines, if you didn't see this video, is a large industrial area in my city. <laughs> there we go. This does make it as accurate as possible. No smog, no gain. We'll go with blue and green. I like that. Rock Hills does have a nice big hill feature in it. That's why we'll keep the mountain there. We'll go with the lanterns. Got to burn the midnight oil. Pillar, after all, industry is the pillar of our economy. Not so much now, but you know. Shush. <laughs> ah, what can we use for a last one? Let's use it. Well, well, no. Oh, there we go, Adam. That's perfect. More sciencey than industry, but we do have some science industry in there. Not a lot. It's mostly more pollutant industry, but we're trying to work on that. The city board's getting to work. It's just taking some time. So there we go. Let's go ahead and start planning out Rock Hill High School. All right, here we are. Let us find the pause button, because I still don't quite remember stuff. So, as you see, here's a nice big-ass plot of land. It's nice and big. We can take a look. There's our to-do list. What we need to do first, we always start with the basic education grant, which just tells us we need to build a classroom, get a teacher, build a kitchen, a cafeteria, and hire a cook. Of course, we're going to build way more than that. We can look at this still to see what key does that key does everything for us. What is key? Uh, good question. <laughs> Notice that last game could use a little work, but what can we say? All right. Yep, building you stuck. There we go. Find another bug. Finding all them bugs. So let's see. I think I'm gonna build the school in the middle here, and we'll plan big for now. I think big schools do have a problem in the game right now just because of different things but we're just gonna do it anyways big because we can. So like that of course we want to have a nice little path leading in. I was like my in path. I'm gonna do a five by path there. So we'll clear these walls out. So my plan for this is to try and do like a full school with like all the year classrooms and everything like that. Have everything in there already. Uh, that looks a little uneven, doesn't it? See, there's 23. Yeah, we need to move it over a couple. All right, move this over. Let's see how far should we move it over? Maybe here. Can I give us a good split. Gives us 24 and 25. Eh, that will work. We'll extend that out one. Extend this wall out. There we go. Now I think that should be even. 25. 25. Yeah, that works. This looks uneven to me, but... I guess it works. Okay. So that'll be our main little hallway in here. Or walkway into the school. Uh, where do we want to put else do we want to put around here? Take a look at what zones we have. We have a computer lab, which I don't know if they actually use. 
We have the club, the clinic, the cafeteria, bathrooms, worker quarters, library. I know it's library. I just like library. And the janitor's room. And then garbage was outside. Let's think. Do we want the classrooms right by the door or do we want... I think we want more of the, like, labs and clubs and stuff by the door and the classrooms can be towards the back. And then you have, like, the cafeteria. Could the cafeteria be by the door? That way it's kind of like a centralized sort of spot. Maybe not. Ah, uh, let's, let's, let's think it out. So, I think we might do, like, a club here. We have a wall there. Might do it an open, like, concept type club. Instead of having the wall there, just have it open. We do at least five by five there. And we'll have a closed computer lab here. Seven by five. Let's see what the objects are we need in there. We need for the club, table, and chair. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Throw what's going on me. The computers take up one square. And then we need a chair, five chairs, maybe next to the computer. I guess it's because the computers don't have a chair, so. It'll be one by two, basically. In our computer lab, we'll build it in kind of like a square layout with a nice big open area in the middle. So we did that as a square. We'd have one, two, three. We'd want a door there. One, two, three. And one, two, three, four. Two. We want a door off the hallway too. That might make sense. We have a door there. Um, I like the. I think that's good. Five by seven should be good for that. Let's we'll start putting in our computers ahead of time. Well, we're planning on not doing. That's right. So that'll be our plan for right now. We'll do that, and that'll give us a decent sized computer room. We might want a bigger one later. And a door there, and a door there. We'll have one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, two, one, two, one, two. Because that chair will be in the that will be in the way of that chair though. Something like that. Two, two, three, one, two, three, and you have like a little space here and there, so they're not in the way of the chairs. Uh. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Maybe we'll increase that computer lab and then make it a little bit bigger here. I might extend it out and just run them across the wall like this. Just have it like in here in a little hole there. And then you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Make it like 10 wide, and then we'll have 20, though. And then we want to move. If I remember that, then this looks weird, because you have three in the corner, and then you have a bunch over here. But we'll, we'll deal with that. Nine, ten. Do something like that. Hold off here, hold off there. I don't like how that connects to the objects, but that'll be our decent sized computer room. Like, so we may have to expand it again later, but we'll do 20 for now. Oops, stones don't merge. Move it down there. Yeah, someone I've noticed on the comments said stones don't really merge. So, so anyway, so right now that'll be our computer room. We'll look here at doing our club here. For the club, we just need tables and chairs, but we might want to add some stuff. Actually, there's really much to add in there. Just tables and chairs, pretty much. So those tables would take up. We do tables are two, chairs are one, two by ones, chairs are one by ones. We did a club, and we did like two, 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 two. two, two. We have to do a table like that, and two, two, nah, it needs to be bigger. 
extend the club out here. So we'll do table, table, chair, 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 break, chair, 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 table, 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 table. We'll extend it out another inch here too. So we'll have a break. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, do I don't want to extend it out one more. I might extend out one more. Boom, boom, boom. I might actually send it higher up to just make this a little bit longer of a haul there. I'm going to do something like that. I think that's not bad. I have to figure out where to stick a trash can in there somewhere, but. Of course, that extends in because that's right. We weren't going to wall this off. That's why. I think that extends into our. Oh yeah, that's right. Because this is going to have a wall. Maybe we'll stick like a couple trash cans up on the tops. Corner. We'll have like a trash can. Have like a couple trash. Oops. Walls. Well, trash cans there. A couple on the ends here. Or do something like that. That what do for right now. I gotta edit this zone. Move it. So club will be like that, or just be like a wide open space here. I might go ahead and extend the computer room out, and then just have it so it's nice and even. We have this big hallway. You got the computer room here. You got your club on this corner. We'll put some bathrooms in the corner over here and we'll build our classrooms up top and have the cafeteria on the sides here. Okay. And then we'll figure out where we'll put like our faculty room and janitor room and stuff afterwards here. But let's get our toilets in down by the club area. Those we need. Hit the toilet. So for a male toilet we'll want a few urinals. We'll probably do at least one, two, three, four, five. Let me do even more. We build a fairly large restroom here. Look, if we use this as our wall, we do one, two, three, four, five urinals. Have one, two, one, two, have like three stalls, a couple sinks like that. Your sinks are the size I'm thinking they are. Another one. And a trash can we'll want to add. Trash can by the sink there. The door there. There, there. There we go. There's a bathroom. Right an extra urinal by the door. The next then we'll build the female one. Oh, are there stalls two or are they one? Yeah, they are two. Okay. I remember. Okay, so we'll build one, two, one, two, one, two. So one, two, one, two, one, two. A six. Two sinks, oh, four sinks, there'll be extra sinks in there. A couple trash cans, just extend it out. Walls there, to there, down to there. There will be a little bit of a wall in the club, but on the back end. There we go. Little small bathrooms there, we'll probably have to build more or build bigger ones later, but that'll work for now. That'll be our bathrooms. Let's go ahead and zone that off so we know. Now we'll edit the zones. That will be... Oops. That'll be me being dumb.
Uh, I guess because it's not finished, I can't edit it yet. Usually you can edit it to be like a, um, you know, you hit edit and you can change what type of toilet it is, male or female, but. So we got that squared away, so we got our club, our computer room, we got our toilets, we want to add a, we want to add a clinic too. Getting crowded quick. Uh, we need to get our cafeteria in. That's definitely something we want to get in. So I think next to the computer room down here we'll have the kitchen and then we'll have the cafeteria up north over there. Let's get our kitchen lined up first. And I want the kitchen down there because the deliveries are down here. We may even move them closer, but... Kitchen, maybe we'll build like the stoves. Where's the back? We'll put the refrigerator still at the back. One, two, one, two, of a door. I'll do the object layer. One, two, have a door. One, two, three, four, something like that. Maybe we'll fix Thin that out a little bit. We have four refrigerators, then we'll have maybe one, two, three, four. We'll do the same thing with the cooking stations, and then our sinks are three wide. We'll have them in the corner by the. Yeah, we'll do that for now. Something like that for our sinks. I'll kill the one there. Like that, a wall there, have the doors there. Here we have the sinks over actually, now that I think about it. To the right by the door, that, and I'll move the cooking stations up. I like that over and I have this four along the wall there. With the door there, have three sinks there. Two sinks there and then our fourth kitchen. Work with that. We'll have our cafeteria along this wall. We'll probably be shrunken, but for now we'll run with that. And you'll have in our cafeteria our canteen tables, which are four long. Get a food counter up first. We'll put those maybe in the corners here. I'll we'll have a dish tray maybe like there, and maybe have like one, two, three, have like, yeah. Maybe the food counters on the wall here. Need to extend that wall out. Other we can extend this wall out, I guess, and have two and two. And not knowing what everything that like this, you know, everything the size, of everything is, it's kind of hard at times to plan a bit. Where you If you present architect kind of knew like, oh, you need this many stoves and this many this and this to serve this many people and stuff. Now it's right now it's kind of figuring out. Okay, so how many do I need? So these are three straights. So let's go ahead and plan that out here. We're gonna do three and three. We'll leave a space and do another like that. And we'll have the plate counters along the wall, plate things for dishes along there, along with a couple. Trash cans. Put a wall in here, back in here. And then we'll have next to that we'll have four four four. I wanna keep this open, but let me be okay blocking it off like this. I figure that'll be eight sixteen. 
This kit, this would hold 48 students right now. It might be a little tight. But... Fifty-two, fifty-six. We'll we'll work with it for now, like that. With fifty-six, we'll see how that works for us. The door there, so you enter in there. We have a door up there, so you can also enter it up through there. And we'll build in between here. We'll build something, maybe a classroom. I might put the classrooms though, like I said, up there. Wall that off and wall that off. That will be something. We don't want to leave a hallway here, though. Put that there. So we got a hallway here. We have a hallway down here. That's going to have to be extended because we'll probably extend this stuff out anyways. This will be used for something. Maybe we'll add more bathrooms in there. The club. We have a hallway here. That can all extend out like that. Like that. But this can all extend out there because we don't need, we just want a hallway up there. That. We have a lot of room in this area. Mostly because of the club. Club extends so far, but we can use, because we don't really need the hallway. We can use the hallway down from there. We can from here have stuff down like that. Just trying to plan out my space here. That's kind of funny. <laughs> it's kind of an interesting shape there. See if we can fit a classroom maybe in here. And we'll use like a... Maybe we'll put in the f clinic first... I say, I'm always just calling it first name. I guess clinic, nurse, whatever you want to call it. Over here. And see what we can fit in here. I'm not sure what we're going to put in there. It's an interesting little block of space we have up there. We might have enough room for a classroom in here. Let me see. I did like three, three, three. It'd be a small classroom though. So I just got rid of the middle row there and had it like this. That would be seven, fourteen, twenty-one. I guess that could work. I don't know where to... <coughs> Sorry about that. Throat. Only problem I have with this is I don't really have a good spot for the teacher desk. I said I did something like that and extended it out that way, which is doable. Have it like that. I guess that would be doable. We just have this little weird corner in the class. Might do something like that then. If there's no room between here, we have to cleat that run. Which always is down to about 20 students. That's not a bad class size, though, I guess 20. Put the board, like, right here. Yeah, that might work. We can use that as a classroom anyways. We'll come up with them. Maybe put another one over here. That'll work for, like, our freshman classroom there, I guess we can put there. We could maybe come up with another class here, or we can just move, extend the hallway eventually up. Put the door in like here. Kind of off the wall there, you come in there. See if we can maybe maybe we can fit another classroom in here. Be a little tight, but like another oops, that's walls. Another desk here. Have the board like here. We run like a row of three, 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 three. Just run a really long classroom. Six, nine, twelve, fifteen, though. We 
we flipped it though and ran it crosswise, we could run like nine. I don't know if I could squeeze them in though. Something like that. That might work. What, that's nine plus seven. It's just a small classroom. We can use that as like a second freshman class, I guess. I might do that for now. I would decide later what we really want to do for that, but have like a small classroom here, and we have like a little room here for plants and stuff if we wanted to. Move the door over one here, put it like right there. Like the AP class or something. <laughs> uh, and then above there, we'll extend and have more classrooms up in that area. we we'll build out up. They're putting more classrooms around here, I guess. Uh, what else we got going on there? Um, just going to plan what we'll put in here. Like I said this video will be a little bit long, too, because I have to plan all this stuff out with the other ones I can cut short because we can come back. <laughs> I want to try and get as much as we can get planned in here, so... Don't mind me. So we need a place for the janitors. We need a library. That's going to be a good library, actually. I didn't think about that. That'd be a nice spot for a library. And we need a clinic. It'd also be a good spot for a clinic. I wonder if I could get enough room I could cut into, like, clinic slash library in this area and would have a perfect sort of spread there. Then we would just need to find a spot for the janitors and some more bathrooms, probably. Um, so we wanted to build a library, it would be bookshelves, a couple, yeah, it might only be able to fit one in there. Maybe we'll put the clinic in there then. We just need, for clinic, we would need, maybe a little big for a clinic zone. We need that big of a clinic, we just need like a couple beds. Two by one, one by, oh. Two by one, one by one. We'll probably add a desk just so the nurse has a desk. Um, so we had a clinic. We could do something like three. I think we did four there. Had a little desk for the nurse when you come in. Maybe like there, and she's sitting like here. And the medicine cabinets next to her. There's like a. F Does it there? There's like a f medical cabinet and a file cabinet there. That'll work. But like that. That could be the clinic. And then we could put the library in this little corner here. I think that'll work. Have your clinic there, and then this little space is all... Shut up. Alright, that was my calendar. Tell me calendar stuff I don't care about. That's why I was yelling at it. <laughs> and then it goes on to my phone, too. Which I'm also going to tell to go shut up. See, I just did. Shut up, phone. <laughs> Alright. So I have the clinic there. Maybe we then build, like, the library next to the clinic, I think. We can work that. This nice little life spot be the library. We're gonna have like a library just right in here, this little corner library, and then have like the janitor closet right there. That might work too. Just because all the uh, zones are a little weak, wonky. So what's it gonna take for a bookshelf? We're gonna have to have. We can put in a couple bookshelves. Either up there or have them like one, two. Nah, that one doesn't work. Like I said, just have a couple bookshelves in the corner there, maybe a couple facing the other way. Figure it out. We put like four bookshelves. No, we can't do that though. We like two there. We have the three bookshelves. We have a wall here. 
And then tables are four, if I remember. Nope, they're two. Okay. A few tables, small library. We'll have to probably again be another one of those things we'll have to eventually move, change, etc., etc. But just getting a foundation in. Maybe four tables along there. It's not a big library. You have maybe like eight seats. I'll put another one in there. Like that. The door there. There's me chair. That's the only downside. There's chairs in the doorway. I didn't think about that. We'll do like that. Maybe then have behind this bookshelf you have a table, chairs, you have chairs there, yeah. That bookshelf's not going to work because we'll have chairs, that won't work, either that or we get rid of that, but no, because then we have to get rid of that table too. We're going to have one, two, three, four, we get rid of that table, put in a bookshelf there, or actually put it in on that side, the bookshelf there. Moving down there next to the table. Maybe I'll put it down there next to the table. You could have no, because we have room in that again. I guess actually, that's, that's what we should do. Instead of putting it along the wall there, we have tables along here, like that. A bookshelf like there. <clears throat> yes, I'll do. I have eight seats and a big library, like I said. I'm gonna remove that bookshelf. I'm trying to think of a good place to stick this second bookshelf. There, I wouldn't have room for a table still though. Why don't we just get rid of that? I might just get rid of it and just have the two bookshelves and an extra table. That'll work. Something like that. We'll see how that works. And then what does our janitors need? They need a sink and a table. It's pretty easy. Let's work for a janitor's room. Uh, no, it needs to be 4x4. Four four. Damn it. Like a workman's corner in there, maybe? There's something I could stick in that room. I need a 5x5. Five five. Doesn't work. Like a faculty? No, they need a 5x5. Five five. Well, hell. I guess we could extend the clinic then. We'll figure out something to do with this space. I still can't. Maybe we'll put in like a unisex toilet there or something. Which sounds like a good idea for high school. <laughs> good old unisex toilets, perfect for high schools. Yeah, we could put in a toilet here real quick, like a little unisex toilet. Might be what we have to do. We don't have to extend the computer room up one here. Not that it makes a difference though. Alright. We're playing more as we go, but that's going to be our basic school right now, I think. Once we figure out, I think we'll put a toilet in there. Just make it like a unisex toilet. We'll uh, use all stalls. sinks there like a trash can there door there okay I think that'll do for right now
So we got our plant. Oops, let's go ahead and zone everything out, the rest of it out here real quick. So that's going to be the kitchen. That is going to be the cafeteria. And we got our clinic there, our library, toilet, club, two more toilets. Our computer room, let's put these, are going to be our two classrooms right now, and then we'll extend eventually add. Nah, I forget about this zone thing. I may have to move his desk over for right now, because I can't figure out how to uh, combine zones. There has to be some way to do it, but... may even just extend the wall out here. That might be just what I do. Since that club's not going to have a wall anyways. Let's real quick edit that. We'll extend that wall out. Like so. Add in an extra desk. Like so. Door like so. There we go. We zone this for a second. There's our two freshman classes. We'll build, uh, eventually we'll extend out and add sophomore and junior classes like I want to. I just don't want to sit here and plan that out for another hour. But I guess we could, probably. I don't want to keep this kind of short. So, we'll go ahead and start building on our first little setup we have here. I may move a couple things real quick here, real quick. Uh, real quick here, real quick. <laughs> Ain't that good wording. First, I said it, our delivery zone will be outside of there. And we'll extend, we'll put the work zone, edit that, we'll remove that delivery zone. We'll move our garbage zone over to here. Uh, do I want to do that or I want to put my, I may put my workers corner over there actually. My workers will be here in the old delivery zone, and the garbage will stay where it's at. All right, we're going to go with that for right now. So there we go. We have to, of course, you know, and then add all the other stuff that'll go in there later. But for right now, that's going to be our school. So we got a little plan. Go ahead and uh, tune in for our next episode when we actually start the building of this and hopefully open up for freshman year. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you all next video. Later.